Francine has formed in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. Francine will be the weather story over the next several days for the central U.S. That's going to produce a lot of rainfall and, of course, a lot of wind along with it. Let's first take a look at your temperatures now for your Tuesday. Also on this map depicts the potential path of uh, Francine. Right now, again, it's in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. It's going to be moving up more towards the north and then a little bit towards the northeast, right along the southern half of the Mississippi River Valley. And we could be looking at some flooding rains as we work our way into midweek. This is on your Tuesday, but notice the very warm temperatures all the way up into Canada, right around the central plains there. And it's now working its way on into the Midwest as well. Here on your Wednesday, very warm temperatures, 90s certainly a good bet. Normal high temperatures for this time of year for the Ohio Valley in the lower 80s. We're going to be well above that here on your Wednesday. You see Francine, looks like Francine is going to make landfall sometime Wednesday evening right around Louisiana coast. We're also going to have to keep an eye on it because it's a tropical storm now. It has potential to really increase quickly, but as it approaches the Gulf Coast here, the landfall, conditions aren't going to be quite as favorable. So it should stay about to where it is as far as intensity is concerned as landfall or even decrease just a little bit. It could reach uh, potentially a very small uh, major hurricane that would be category three in this area before it starts weakening right now the way it looks and before it hits the coast and let's certainly hope so but notice look at the very warm temperatures again very unseasonably warm we're going to be getting close to 90 degrees in many locations here we go on Thursday. This again reflects the very heavy rainfall that's going to be falling in response to uh, Francine. Notice still very warm up as uh, you head up into the high plains and also towards the east, towards the Midwest and Great Lakes. Here on Friday, you can see now again lots of clouds, lots of rain in this area. That's why temperatures are going to be suppressed somewhat. Still though very hot there in the central plains, but cooling off for fall like temperatures as you head on into the west and the Rocky Mountains. By Saturday, again, you see a lot of cooler temperatures, again, reflecting the clouds and the heavy rainfall here in the Midwest. Warming back up, though, along the uh, Gulf Coast in, uh, as Francine continues to move. This is on Sunday. Still more rain. Francine is really going to slow up and kind of sit here, and that's why temperatures aren't going to change all that much. Still, though, very hot, very dry as you work your way up into the plains. Precipitation, here's the key. Okay, this is on your Tuesday. There's Francine. Lots of tropical moisture starting to work its way along the Gulf Coast. Houston, you're going to be on the back side of it. You're going to see quite a bit of rain, I think, on your Tuesday as well as on Wednesday. You kind of see that there. But again, the majority of it's going to be moving due north right along the Mississippi River Valley, dry across most of the country with the exception of the west coast where that next system's coming in and giving you some cooler temperatures here on thursday you see it there it's going to be wound up it will be weakening but there's a lot of moisture with it we could again be looking at some uh, flooding there in the mississippi river valley at least the southern half and uh, we could be looking at some snow in the higher elevations of the rockies as that next system pushes in there here we go. As uh, we get more rain, as it works its way in, it's going to be a tropical depression or just a, a low pressure system at this point, bringing in quite a bit of heavy rainfall there for the Ohio Valley Midwest. You see it again. It's weakening a little bit, but there's still quite a bit of rain. This is going to be on your Saturday, drying out off towards the west. And then here on Sunday, again, more precipitation. So this is going to be sticking around for a while. We need to rain in here in Ohio. We do have a drought situation in the southern half of the state, so we could be looking at some nice uh, rains there. Let's hope so we can certainly use it. Other than that, we got a couple of system potentially in the Atlantic that could form and moving up towards the... Uh, the north and along the eastern seaboard but i think this is pretty much going to stay off the coast at this point in time but francine is certainly going to be the big weather story over the next couple of days now in a week from thursday friday there could be another system developing there in the gulf of mexico we have to keep an eye on but until that time francine will be the major weather story over the next couple of days i'll be back in a couple of days with another update i'm george the weather dad